Okay, here we go, Ed. Are we live? Okay. okay, I think it's coming slowly but surely. I see the live button. Is that not indicated as live? Or? I, well, I, and you know what? I don't, and I don't see anything. Hold on. Yeah, okay. hold on. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it, here we go. Yeah, it gave All me right, a here we go. Well, hello, Facebook. Hello, no. hello, hello. I'm so glad. I'm so glad because I was on roll solo. But <laughs> I'm so glad that my brother is here, y'all. This is my brother like yeah. for real for real like brother brother like be, come rescue me when i was somewhere i ain't had no business <laughs> and he had to go get his mama's car to come get me yeah mm -hmm. that kind of brother like yeah like that's, that's what we do absolutely yeah, that's absolutely. what we do yes absolutely this is the great ed hawkins uh, um from oakland california <laughs> That has joined me today. Yes, I'm so glad we had a lot of technical difficulties. If y'all were on before, um, I was on there by myself and he was trying to get in. And so we had to get off and get back on. But nevertheless, we are here. We are here. And I'm glad. Yes, um, yes if you're joining today, just wanted to, um, I told Ed that I would introduce him and um, then we would get into the book. But I do want to... Um, give him the uh, space because he is the first male that I've had, other than the boys and my editor, but the first male that I've had uh, talking about relationships and talking about, you know, just life and period in general and how, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard. So I'm gonna let him introduce himself, tell about who he is. And nice. y'all already asked if he's single, he is single ladies, so hit me up. All right, all right, go ahead, Ed. Man, thank you very much. I just want to say, I'm, I, thank you for the invitation to come on and just have this discussion. I mean, it's always great when you can do it with family. Right. Love, Absolutely. you wrote the book. You mm -hmm. doing, man, it was a beautiful thing when you told me, you know, mm -hmm. you produced it, published it. Mm -hmm. Great, my name is Ed Hawkins, I'm from Oakland. Uh, man, what can I say? I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> Born and raised, <laughs> I'm a father, I'm a brother, I'm a son, you know, I'm an uncle, you know. Uh, Good friend. Man, Good you know, we go way back, friend. you know, so we were raised yeah. in the same yeah. environment yeah. Yeah. with each other. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm an avid reader. Uh, yeah. I love sports, so I'm a team player. Mm -hmm. uh, just looking mm -hmm. forward to discussing, having this open discussion, I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some life experience, you know, yeah. the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, what I've learned. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What I'm finding at this point. Yeah. You know, right, like, right, you know, right. At this right. stage, I'm in, I'm in the application stage. Right. Everything I've experienced, right. everything I've learned from mm -hmm. my personal experience from others is now applying it, not just mm -hmm. thinking about it, getting stuck in neutral, mm -hmm. but actually applying what it is I'm learning on a daily basis. So, that's what makes this journey uh, a daily one. Mm -hmm. We can apply new information each day, new experiences. Mm -hmm. So let's talk. Let's talk. So you <laughs> said about the application. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna open it up. Okay. So you we are around late 40s, 50s, 50 ish. Um, so we are not grown, grown, but we grown enough. You know. Absolutely. To have had, yeah, have have had some experiences where we should have some knowledge or be able to apply, like you were saying, um, yeah. some things. And especially after coming through post pandemic, which we're not all the way out, right. but you know, um, we are, you know, kind of like in the light at the end of the tunnel. What would you say? you know, after experiencing all of that from the male perspective, because I know I have my perspective, but I'm a female and we do have different perspectives. We really do. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
even if we don't sometimes want to acknowledge it, it is we think differently um, as you male and female. Uh-huh. So what would your perspective be? I mean, as a man, I, uh, we're definitely more logical. We, we put things in order. And I'm speaking personally. I'm not right. going to project to everybody. Right. You're not speaking for everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, From I, your I, experience. Right. I so don't be, come, don't be messaging me later talking about nothing. About nothing. Don't nobody hit me up. Man speak. Yes. Man nobody speak he didn't represent. Yeah. Right. So um, the pandemic itself, really, with the isolation, mm -hmm. I took it. It was really a reset. Mm -hmm. It like slowed life down. And it really gave you an opportunity to analyze uh, what was important because we were putting things in perspective because we've never experienced it. Mm -hmm. It put strain on relationships. People couldn't, we can even visit loved ones or friends. So uh, mm -hmm. that time was definitely a very calming time mm -hmm. to really mm -hmm. reflect on, damn, what matters, mm -hmm. what really doesn't matter. Like, right. Me, it was more internal, like, you know, looking at it from the bigger perspective, like, mm -hmm. man, what am I really putting my energy into and has it really mattered? You know, right. what, mm -hmm. what could I do better? Because now time is ticking and we know time is that thing we can't control. You know, like they say, you can lose money, but you can always regain it. But time is something if you do not use wisely, you can never get it back. Absolutely. So, as it mm -hmm. pertains to relationships, who we connect with, deal with, or that we um, share our time with is really important. Like, mm. <laughs> I mean, first you have to be honest with yourself, you know, and I think a lot of times we're not. Mm. And by not being honest with myself, I cannot obviously be honest with you. So mm -hmm. sometimes we try to project things that are, we're not really feeling, but mm -hmm. we don't hurt someone's feelings and what have not, but I mean, the pandemic definitely was a good space for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely, coming out of a long-term relationship, it gave mm -hmm. me a chance to really soften my anxiety. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of walking and those walks were, I tell people those walks were therapeutic. Yeah. Just walking, walking along the uh, marina. So I'm by the mm -hmm. water, sometime I just stop. Sometime I have thoughts, sometime I don't, but it's just a mm -hmm. sense of calmness. Uh, sense of resetting it definitely helped me I feel like I'm a lot further than I was in certain aspects mm -hmm. and that's one of them because mm -hmm. coming out of that situation I had a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. and you know when you're starting all over that can be a scary thing yeah and yeah I'm, young, scary, I'm, scary. I'm 51 so even from a male's perspective it's scary mm -hmm. as you know. I know sometimes we have the uh, the image and expectations to be tough and you know, suck it up, man, suck it up. And don't be no punk, you know? I mean, those are the things that we say to one another. And if men do show some type of emotions, we say that's weak, but I'm finding as a man, you gotta let it go. Because we so we hold things and it builds and it festers. And sometimes, oftentimes it affects other areas of our life. And we don't sometimes consciously we know it and sometimes subconsciously we do not know it, you know? Mm -hmm. And similar to, like we said, perspective, you know, those are things that are influence our perspective, right? Our right. experiences, mm -hmm. uh, just the reflection, you know, mm -hmm. let's face it. Some of us, we choose to change. And then some of us, the trauma, we just acting it out is a different person, mm -hmm. same ending. And mm -hmm. we just, it's repetitive. Right. And, right. and time is ticking. That's the thing. Sometimes we think it's the other person, but ultimately how does it affect me because i can put i can project what i think was the issue with the other person but if i don't stop and say what about me what about my needs how did i feel and acknowledge okay. those things you can really get stuck in a certain okay. place and too often we see it and a lot of times with men it festers mm -hmm. into anger you know yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. in different ways different things as well mm -hmm. but oftentimes we mm -hmm. see trauma Men mm -hmm. not being able to let things go. Mm -hmm. And it does come on perspective because when you know brothers rap, you know, women this, women, you know, you can tell the <laughs> brothers it's like, okay, he's holding on to some things, you know. So right. right. But those are my thoughts, you know. I mean, just how mm -hmm. I see it, just mm -hmm. personally, you know, but mm -hmm. you know, relationships are important. They're the nurturing. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. You know, so. Yeah. I think, you know, I had a thought earlier today. I was thinking about um, just, um, just how important a uh, relationship with God is, you know, because Absolutely. that is actually where we met at uh, United right. States Street Holmes Church in Oakland, um, <laughs> where my, you know, my first real experiences with God happened um, at 14. Um, I got saved, quote unquote, um, there. And, uh, but I really realized that God was real. Um, at that, at, you know, at, 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 at that particular time in my life. And um, I was thinking about how important it is that you allow yourself to have healthy and love relationships, not just romantic. It could be, you know, between um, parents, between siblings, between friends, between coworkers, you know, just, but you allow yourself that space. Like you were talking about, first of all, you allow yourself to be honest with you and get to know you. And that goes for male and females, I believe. You know, um, Maurice used to have a saying, if you full of, yeah, if you full of, you know you full of, before anybody else will know you full of. You know, that, that was it. Yeah, that was his saying, like, you know it. So you, you know, you can't, you know, when folks tell you that, you know you full of. So you have to understand, you have to be honest with you. Like, right. you know, and, and you have to understand who you are. You know, who are you? What are your likes? What are your dislikes? Before you can even try to, especially in a, rela- a romantic relationship, try to build something or connect with someone when you don't know yourself I have I was you know that was me years ago as a young woman you know I wasn't really sure of um you know what I liked who I was I mean I was young you know you just young and dumb you just doing things off of what you saw or what you think or what somebody told you you should be doing but um, before I, um, we actually reconnected in the book, I had spent eight years as a single parent. I was back in school and I was also not in a relationship for eight mm-hmm. years. Like, no, you know, and that, that was, this is my journey. Now that's what I'm saying. Don't mess with me talking about, I, I don't want to hear that. I'm talking about for me, you know, right. I, for me, I had, you know, I had three kids who were who depending on me as their sole provider. Right. I was in school. I was living with my grandparents. You know, I had a lot on my plate. And for me, I didn't have time. I mean, just like you were saying, precious. I knew that that was precious. I had to invest in myself in school. I had to invest in my son. You know, I, I didn't have time for an outside person, you know, right. to, to come into that work, into that space. But what it did give me, it gave me a better understanding of me and it gave me a better understanding of who God is. And to me, that is what, you know, allowed me to be able to connect with um, someone, another, you know, a male in a romantic way um, because of that. So, you know, I'm just giving the female side of you know what you were talking about and yeah. that thing um carried into the pandemic well we were locked up together in here you know just me and him and we were we were good you know we were having the time of our life we had been wanting to just be excuse me in a space just together every day all day I mean we did it we and, yeah. I mean it was the best time of my life being here. and so but there's a but in order for us to get here, we have gone through a many, 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 many trials in order for us to get. So the pandemic was also a reset for us. It was a reconnection. It was a repurpose. Right. You know, um, we had some com- some real conversations. Like, because what else are we going to do? You know, after you watch TV, you play cards, you know, right. you need to talk to, you know, you sleeping in eating with this person every day you might want to have a conversation about what y'all really you know what's really going on you know you know what I mean and for me yeah yeah that's what what happened with the pandemic um and even coming out of it of course I will not belittle the fact of I have a huge loss and experienced a huge loss with Maurice Mm -hmm. not physically being here but something else has been birthed because he's not physically here either 
you know, and that's a whole nother, that's later on in the book, we'll, you know, we'll talk about that. But I mean, tell me that, I mean, I know you were, you 51, you still a young man, you know, we still rocking and rolling, you know, but you know, tell me, yeah. No, I think, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, um, when you put in the work, it will show. You know, um, oftentimes it's us standing still to allow our spirits to be fed, because a lot of times, like even as a man and I've been here, you don't know what you need to know. You know, like, like growing up, my perspective, I grew up without my dad. Right. Mm -hmm. So understanding as a young man what a man is. You know, you, I'm, I'm going to show everybody, you know, you, that was my perspective, you know, but you realize if you go through life, there's a lot you don't know. And if you don't heed to wisdom, you know, if you are not observant of others' mistakes, I mean, and you end up going through it yourself, you'll learn a great lesson. You know, I was married 25, had a kid at 24. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was doing. I used to tell people half the time as a man, when I used to think about well, what am I supposed to do? I used to sit and think, what would my mom do? And that's how I moved. I said, she would do this right. or I would call and mm -hmm. I would see mm -hmm. guidance. But as a man trying to find my place, knowing I'm supposed to provide, but like you say, not knowing you, I'm growing, mm -hmm. didn't realize things that I hadn't resolved, didn't know how to resolve. I was just moving along with the world, trying to find my way. I partied, mm -hmm. I did all this stuff. Right, right. You know, and by 29, I was divorced mm -hmm. and it was a reset. And I went through a couple of years. I think I was trying to get back what I lost. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, you, you just get caught up. And it's, I mean, like I tell people, as long as you find yourself at some point is okay, because we're human. That's right, that's right, that's right. 51, I'm still figuring things out. So right. this process, right. this journey is a daily process. You, mm -hmm. you, you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves mm -hmm. and society puts a lot of pressure. Like at this point, you're supposed to be here and we're trying to fulfill those things. And then we're dealing with our own pressure that yeah. we put on ourselves that we're not meeting and we're angry. And yes. you know, I mean, and you're trying to process this. And if you have kids and you're trying to be nurturing and loving, mm -hmm. but those things come up, you know, yeah. those things come up and you have your moments, you know, but mm -hmm. In terms of relationship, if you have that person who's in tune with you that you can talk, mm -hmm. they can, you know, like they always say, you know, I want a woman that's going to bring my peace. And if you allow it and your relationship is nurturing, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be perfect. People can bring that balance that can allow you to operate in a certain space, even though if you haven't figured it out, I mean, right. I've been there, and it's helped. Absolutely. It, mm -hmm. it can be healed as you're going, mm -hmm. you know, but so often we're mm -hmm. always right. trying to find the, the definite solution, the answer. And when we don't, it becomes frustrating, but really the process is the journey from the beginning to now. It's like, when you start really thinking about it, you realize, man, I actually have made progress. I just, uh, right. it's just the perspective of how I package it and see it because I'm thinking I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be here, but really maybe my anxiety is better. Maybe I'm more at peace. Maybe I've resolved right. Right. that. I'm not triggered mm -hmm. anymore and I'm able to mm -hmm. operate in a certain space. And right. sometimes it's very, the very small things mm -hmm. that will help us. And personally, that's what helped me. I mean, like I say, with the mm -hmm. pandemic, it was the reset. Okay, I'm working from home. I got up in the morning, I went walking and those walks were my time. My mm -hmm. time to talk, mm -hmm. my time mm -hmm. to think, my time to relax. And then I come in and get my day started. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, it could be a lot, you know, that's why who you choose as your partner, mm -hmm. it's vital. And I think oftentimes yeah. Yeah, we, could, we could use better uh, things or our list or whatever it is when we're choosing a partner, yeah. but also yeah. acknowledging, and, okay, it's really not what I want and being mm -hmm. okay to express it and right. not go along with things and right. in the end, right realize you know because the other person can tell whether or not you're really interested or not i mean your focus your amount of effort mm -hmm. there's no mm -hmm. i mean i could talk and try to you know tell you what i think but, but yeah. I, 
the well, consistency is, uh, yeah. my, it's going to come out. It's going to mm -hmm. come out. Before, you know, mm -hmm. my energy is going to tell everything. How I respond, mm -hmm. you know, the things that I, I, my energy and effort that I give you, if it's not consistent, you'll see like, you know, that's why I say sometime when you observe, you don't have to answer, ask the question. Absolutely. Yeah, it'll behavior, tell it for itself. It will tell it for itself. So when people say, why you didn't ask? I don't have to ask. I'm watching because what you, your actions tell me everything. You know, right. the words right. are what you might do, but your actions are what, who, who you are. They expose who you are and the right. things that really matter to you. So, I mean, you know, when people are doing mm -hmm. other things, they're revealing who they are. So you, I say, let them do mm -hmm. it move myself i'm not here to you know i'm at the stage now mm -hmm. like a, the application stage where if i feel it's not right for me i'm going to express it and i'm going to move we ain't got to go through it don't have to be no drama well, well, exactly, exactly. Well, exactly. You know, just like if somebody came to me and it's not right for them i respect it i'm going we're going to absolutely just move along move it along because that, that's all we have to do you know wish you well no and hard feeling, yeah. No hard feelings, and just uh, continue on our journeys. You know, I mean, wow. it's really simple, but man, you know, emotions and oh, things can complicate things that are like really simple. Simple, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. in our communication. Yeah, I, um, when you know, younger, being younger, and you know, I was out dating and doing the thing, and you know, and I, I had a lot of respect for a person I've had several times where I was feeling somebody you know and they be like you know you cool you cool you know I did but I did you know I just look at you like a little sister or a good friend I'm just not into you like that and right. so for me I, you know it took me a few times mm -hmm. before I was like you know what I respect you for that instead of you you know trying to string me along or trying to see how far you can go I respect you for saying, hey, I don't, I just don't, I don't feel that for you. Yeah. And so it caused me to move that way. You know, like if I felt that for somebody and they weren't reciprocating that for me, then that's probably not the person for me. I'm not yeah. into wrangling nobody to want to be with me. Like why? Why would I have to force someone to want to be in a relationship with me? Like I'm the bomb, like well, whoever, you know what I mean? And, and, but you have to understand that, that value in yourself, you know, like Absolutely. I shouldn't have to, you, you know, I, I shouldn't have to. The person who is first of all for me or wants to invest that time with me, that is precious. I won't have to, as, especially as a female, I was just talking to a young lady the other day and I was telling her, I said, as a female, and from the perspective of most males, and you help me with this, Ed, most males that I have known, brothers, you know, Maurice, uh, different guys that I've talked to, my own sons, men don't like to be pursued. They like to pursue. And so I was telling her that, you know, if he's not pursuing you, like if you doing all, uh, you know, arranging and scheduling and, you know, you fixing your schedule, but then he's probably not into you. Because a man who's into you is going to pursue you. He's going to be the one that's moving his schedule and doing, you know, and making sure that, you know, you good, he good, you know, that y'all are good. That's the one for you. But if you have to do most of the work, that's not for you, baby. That's not for you. That's so you true. have, I mean, is that is that perspective? Is that the right perspective? It's accurate. I mean, mm -hmm. as a man, if, if I want you, I'm coming. I'm, I'm moving my schedule. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have to ask me. I'm making it happen because at the end of the day, I either I want to spend time, I want to get to know you, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And so, we can make a lot of excuses. I've been there, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when the pursuit mm -hmm. is there, men pursue women, you know. Mm -hmm. And men don't necessarily have the same perspective. We we can see at the bus stop if if man if we interested, we coming. You know, right. that's, just, Absolutely. that's just how Absolutely. it's set up, you know, but it's right. a new time now. I mean, people move a little different now. So, right. I mean, but right. teach his own. I mean, right. Absolutely. There's no, no, pressure. I'm not here to say what you should do, but right, right, right. But, but it's honestly, just sometimes you, know, you can say yourself is what I was, 
explain it to her. You know, sometimes you can save yourself that disappointment or that frustration. Right. You know, if you, like you were talking right. about, if you watching how they're moving, all you have to do is observe. I don't, you know, not watch what they say, watch what they do. You know, Absolutely. are they really, and they in, 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 in a show, and met females too. If a female is really interested, she will allow her schedule to be open just in case you do have it. Mm-hmm. so you know it goes both ways I told you all day even though i could <laughs> it's true it does go both ways i mean it's just the reciprocity is yeah. like you know, i mean what i invest obviously i like it to be shared back i mean right. i think it's human right. nature because when it's not when it's right. one-sided then right. the issues arise when one feels mm-hmm. one is putting more effort in than someone else, you know, you want it to be reciprocated. I mean, sometimes right. things happen, but that's when communication comes in. It's right. understanding if people mm-hmm. have things going on and, and being able to, you know, acknowledge and accept it. And, you know, because everything's not linear, you know, we in the world yes. everything. <laughs> so you have to give space to allow right. people to move. I mean, just like in relationships, people, mm-hmm. And I can't keep you back in 2020 and you've had experiences that right. now we're in 2022 that I have to allow you to grow and right. be, oftentimes we don't feel comfortable when person's perspective changes and their behavior changes because we can compartmentize them to being in one little pocket. But mm-hmm. I mean, you have to grow with your partner. You have to grow mm-hmm. with the person that you're building with. I mean, mm-hmm. it just that's part of the process that's the beauty of it you know and you know you can you can do it together I mean it's even a stronger bond Mm -hmm. you know but I mean but yeah men we pursue that's that's just what we do you know but like Mm -hmm. you know it's a new day just like I mean I can remember when internet like sites (laughs) it was like a joke and now, you know, right. I have friends who are single that are professionals and like, that's how I meet people. And I'm right. like, okay. yes, like, so, so uh, remember like saying. computer love, you remember the song computer love? Like what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the computer. <laughs> so the times change, you know, yeah, but I think the, uh, the foundation of everything that does ne- that never changes. Right, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. That I, remember the same, I mean, so, yeah. you know, I mean, relationships are the most challenging thing because it involves so much and mm-hmm. yet so much into it mm-hmm. you know, uh, and it doesn't work out, man. It can be, it can be a tough time for some people. Yeah, I mean, be devastating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. And that's I like have... you say, when you need the space to yourself to regroup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost like uh, reacquainting yourself with yourself. Right, right. Because so you have to... changed even from when you got into the relationship and then when right. you come out, you're not the same person, you know, that right. you were. Um, before you got in and you need that time to that like you were talking about you know there is some healing that needs to be done you know you need your perspective yeah and and not um you don't wish nobody no ill you know it just things sometimes just happen that way you know our relationships don't work they just don't work and it's nobody's fault or nobody you know um, not that negative connotation that he ain't or she ain't. No, it just didn't work. It didn't right. work for whatever reason, you know, but right. I wish you the best, you know, I, I, you know, don't wish you any bad, but it just didn't work um, at that time. Um, so, um, yeah, this has been good, brother. This has <laughs> been good. I'm so nah, glad nah, when I asked fun. you a few months ago. Yeah, yeah, this, so, so I can have you back. You'll come back. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Because if one thing, you know, being at this point in life to be able to discuss things with other like-minded people, I like to learn. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. I, learn I, right. I learn from others. So people right. can be right. perspective to things right. because I, even in relationships, I'm like, I have female friends. Right. Like they're right. female relationships. And, you know, you always hear, men can't have relationships with women without, I'm like, that's not true. You, you I better some healthy, come on now. Come on valuable now. Valuable relationships yeah, that absolutely. with women and they give me a perspective right, and call you, me out. Yes. Like, you know, exactly. And, and, and no, you that's tripping. not cool. You and I'm yes. from 
because you need to hear the other perspective. I mean, right. obviously, right. if you have a mom and a sister, they can share. But if you have a neutral person who's not a relative, right, you right. trust that person. Um, I've gained some real good knowledge insight. and some yes. wisdom and perspective from like things that I was doing. I was like, wow, I didn't think about that. Right. Because I saw it the way I saw it. Right. Absolutely. We could, you know, we can see right. things only from our perspective, but when someone brings a fresh perspective, it makes right. you think, wow, right. okay. I never thought about it that way. So then you can move forward. You mm -hmm. know, so yeah. it's important for men to have relationships with women that are healthy, that are platonic, right. that is a right. friendship and those right. barriers of trust, you know. So it does exist. I mean it does, I it does. Fun my friends yes. it definitely exists and it's healthy right i mean it's important you know because sometimes mm -hmm. when i'm when i want to make sure i'm in line i'm like okay let me call and make sure i'm not tripping oh. when, I hear, when i hear oh yeah you tripping that's <laughs> that's not cool you know and explaining okay. it I'm like damn okay okay I can so, I can right, so then i could if i need right. to correct myself or if i need to apologize right right, right. Sure, Man, it's definitely been a plus for me. So I right, mean, and the same for me. Like especially mm -hmm. after leaving, losing such a person. Like Maurice was my person. Like that was right. my cover. And that was. I mean, he was. He was the one. So it was. I, I needed to know that there were still men men that cared for me, and it had nothing to do with sexuality or anything like that it's just that they cared for me you know right. I wanted to make sure I was good that I was safe you know that I was you know that I was okay and and they didn't want anything other than that and it's important you know and even if my mindset if I had the wrong perspective or my they were you guys were able to say no 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 or yeah. no I don't think that's a good idea I think you may need to back up or step back you know and give yourself some time you know mm -hmm. to make sure and it has been invaluable for me you know invaluable yeah. and I do feel a confidence that I didn't feel a year or so ago you know because of having that real genuine friendships with men with males you know who were not like my dad or my sons they were these were men who we share no bloodline but i know if i call you and say hey i need to talk to you about something or you know i'm feeling like this and you know i i need to have that safe space you know with somebody that i can trust it, does, right. it makes a world of difference and Absolutely. why you can't you know why you can't once you get the sex part out the way like you should be able to connect on a you know to help balance you you know even if you're not in a relationship it's still good to have that connection between men and women right absolutely yeah. i agree mm -hmm. i wholeheartedly agree I've, I've, mm -hmm. I've like i said i've always experienced it so anytime i hear yeah. that perspective i'm saying that's not true right. only only two times that's not true if someone's not being honest there you go you there you go when you have an ulterior motive yeah you right. got an ulterior motive right. and and when i realize that that's your motive i'm out Peace out. Right. Let me block, right. delete you, and let's keep it moving. Yeah, I don't because, mm -mm. like you said, time is precious. I don't, I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to waste your time, and I don't have time to waste my time. You right. know, so if it's not according to the purpose that we moving for them, you know, I wish you well. But we out. <laughs> that's all you can do. That's yeah. yeah that's, that's the best. That's the best solution. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I am not going to keep you all day. This has been a special, special treat. I love, I love you. I love you, you, my brother. I love, love you. Too. I love you. Love you Have too. To enjoy the rest of your Sunday. You too. All right. Yeah. Goodbye, Facebook. Peace out.